Hi guys, this is Carmela of the Senua Kitchen. So I thought I would give you another update uh, about what's going on for me uh, health-wise. And also, I think, you know, I would just like to document how I'm healing myself, you know, from the uh, I IBD. So I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's colitis, but um, how I'm, I'm healing myself naturally. So if it can assist anyone uh, of you, then it would be just awesome. So uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you all. I mean, I was, I didn't expect, you know, when I shared uh, last week, you know, telling you uh, what was going on for me, I didn't expect to have such a response from you guys. Um, I was very touched, thank you. Just to, um, I mean, it's just incredible to get responses from people all over the world and, and um, you know, knowing that you're there and, and supporting me and, and sending good thoughts my way, uh, that means a lot to me, so thanks a lot. Uh, and I'm sorry I don't have the uh, energy to write uh, personally to uh, every one of you, uh, but just know that I really appreciate uh, your feedback and, and you taking the time to uh, write a few words. So, so today I have nothing but good news. Um, it's been, I guess today is day eight or nine on the elemental diet that I'm following. So. It's basically um, something that a protocol that was devel developed by Jeannie Patel Thompson of uh, uh, ListenToYourGut.com. So Jeannie had um, IBD uh, for many many years uh, when she was growing up, and uh, tried the, me the medical avenue, and that didn't um, yield any results. Uh, so finally, she developed her own way of. of uh, dealing with the with her symptoms and one a big part of it has been to go on an element elemental diet so what that means is uh, it's basically a, a shake that she's come up with uh, that contains all the nutrients uh, that you need you know that your body needs uh, but it's all pre-digested and it goes straight into the bloodstream so in that way uh, it gives the bowels maximum rest because this is you know if you think about it like there's, in my case, there was intestinal bleeding, um, and there was, and there is still uh, inflammation. So you want the bowels to put all their, you know, all its energy into into healing itself, and you don't, you want to have minimum matter uh, passing through to, you know, just to allow it to to do its healing. Um, so, so that when I read that, it made a lot of sense. Uh, so. I got the shakes and that's what I've been doing uh, for the last nine days or so. So this is the stuff here. So it's called Absorb Plus. Um, I decided to go with the unsweetened flavor, which was a good thing because, you know, I'm quite sen sensitive to uh, uh, sugar. I guess your taste buds, and when you eat raw for a long time, uh, your taste buds are much more sensitive. So. So this is the stuff that I've been having. I've managed to work my way up to uh, four shakes a day now. And uh, I think that's pretty much the max that I can handle because I'm, um, the thing with it, there's no oil, so I have to add my own. I'm adding flax oil. And because of my gallbladder issue, I can only have, you know, a ta one and a half teaspoon at a time. Uh, so that's been, but that's been working well, but I know I can't really do, you know, more than that every couple of hours or something like that. So I've been having four of those shakes a day, and then I've reintroduced the juices, uh, maybe three days ago. And, and when I did that before, you know, I think I was telling you last time, uh, I did a juice fast for 10 days and my inflammation just wouldn't stop. And I nailed it down to being the greens, you know, I thought the greens were so great. And actually, so I got this book from the library from Paul Neeson about how he healed himself of IBD uh, with, uh, actually through raw foods. And uh, in his, he's got several phases or steps to his uh, protocol. And the first one is uh, juices. Uh, and he recommends green juices and I'm actually I've written to Paul to uh, get feedback because I can be the only one that's had issues with greens 
uh, of course greens are wonderful for you but what I read elsewhere you know because of the oxalic uh, acid um, and, you know it that ends up being an irritant and if you have you know inflammation then that's not a good thing so so anyways juices didn't work for me uh, but now I'm reintroducing juices but very mild juices so I uh, uh, cucumber pretty much cucumber and celery are the main thing and then in the morning I have you know I add maybe a couple of apples uh, I've tried pears so so I'm gonna stick to very very mild juices for a while and that's been working well so far you know having the both of them I mean the absorb plus and then the juices um, the other I guess another element with the um, a protocol of genie is that and that's very important so you need to give your bowels you know maximum rest and uh, and actually it's working because uh, I have very little pain left hallelujah I feel it you know once in a while and it's mostly right in that curve you know of the colon where it turns down to go uh, downwards you know so this is where I feel maybe when matter is trying to move or I don't know it's just very tender and once in a while I'll feel you know I, sent, I have a sensitivity there but at least I don't have any more pain and no more intestinal bleeding so that's you know another great news so something's working um, of course I'm you know a bit concerned next week sometime um, it's going to be three weeks since I've been only having liquids so um, I'll be slowly reintroducing blended some. stuff, which is actually tying into uh, Paul Neeson's protocol. So having probably, um, I don't know about smoothies, uh, but soups, you know, for sure. And, and um, I was talking to uh, Renee, uh, uh, Renee Oswald in Florida, and she was recommending that I do uh, once I do, let's say, a soup, that I, I pass some of the pulp through uh, a bag so that I don't, you know, and retain maybe just 25% of the pulp so it's not too much at once. So, so I think that's uh, what I'll be doing uh, starting next week. Um, so, you know, let's hope that, you know, it all goes well. But, um, oh yeah, and one thing I wanted to mention, so I've been doing juices, so mostly uh, what I've been doing juicing through our Breville juicer, which is on the top of the line, but we've chosen it because it's easy to use, easy to clean, so you know we've been using it every day for several years. Um, but what I do is I also pass the juice through um, a juice bag, uh, or you know it's actually a um, straining bag uh, for nut milk uh, usually. So I just got this one yesterday in the mail and it's awesome, I just love it. So it's made of 100% organic cotton. Uh, uh, it's designed by Eco Peaceful, so you can find that online. Um, so I've been straining my juices in there to really remove all pulp because at this point I'm elemental, you know, so I'm, I don't want to have any, any uh, pulp or anything going through. So, so I've been straining that way from the ju from the juicer, but I've also been making um, uh, juices. And again, that's something that I learned from Renee, Renee Oswald. Uh, she has a great book on juice on juices. Uh, by by the way, um, she does her juices in the Vitamix, <clears throat> and uh, then strains the pulp through again, you know, a nut, a nut milk bag. So. The great thing about that is, you know, I found that washing the juicer like two, three times a day, I mean, that was much more than I had the energy to deal with. So, you know, I find doing the juices, you know, once a day in the, in the juicer and then moving on to the blender works really well for me. So, so that's a technique that you want to, you know, might want to explore, experiment with. So, so besides, you know, the nutritional uh, aspect of it, and by the way, I just stepped on the scale this morning and I've put on three pounds. I'm so excited. Uh, and that's, you know, thanks to, you know, even though I'm not consuming any food, uh, just because of the, the good oil, you know, the flax oil and then all the nutrients in the Absorb Plus shakes, um, you know, I'm still being able to uh, put on some weight. Uh, Unfortunately, one area that I still need some work, my pipes aren't working at all, so I'm totally constipated. Uh, 
granted there's not much you know that that needs to come out uh, but it's still like a detoxing diet I, I would like to get those toxins out um, so I did an enema once uh, you know I'm a bit reluctant to force anything so today I did a bit of prune juice I basically soaked some prunes and um, overnight and then just cook them on the stove for half an hour in water, lots of water, and then I uh, blended that up in the blender, which wasn't that good an idea. Um, but it made like a like a big, you know, a really thick pulp. I passed it through the, the uh, straining bag, and so I'm, I, I had a bit of that prune juice this morning. So we'll see. That's an old trick that my mom used to. She always used to give me prune juice in the morning way back when I was a child and constipated. That's something that's been going on my whole life pretty much, except, you know, when I was on RAW. I don't know, this is some something that maybe you guys would have any uh, input, you know, some input to, uh, to uh, give me. I need something super mild or uh, like Oxymag or that sort of thing, I think is out uh, because I need to, I would need to take lemon juice with it and lemon juice is too acidic uh, and it would aggravate the inflammation. So. I'm looking for something that's super mild. Um, I don't think psyllium would work at this point. I just read that if you've had intestinal bleeding, you shouldn't be taking any psyllium for several weeks because if you know it has a bit of a sweeping effect, and I don't want to have anything against my wall, the walls of my intestines right now. So, anyways, if you have some ideas, um, so yeah, so the constipation, but otherwise, you know, my energy is back up. Um, I'm. I'm it doesn't last for very long because that food is, goes straight into my bloodstream. But, but um, you know, I'm definitely on the uh, up, uphill trend now. And along with the, the uh, you know, what's really important is not just the nutritional aspect of it, but uh, as Jeannie outlines in her protocol, there's two other things that need to be dealt with. So th this whole thing with IBD usually comes from an imbalance in the intestinal flora. In my case, I'm virtually certain that, that that's what happened, you know. Uh, if I backtrack last summer, I had, um, for the first time in years, I had symptoms of candida overgrowth. Uh, I had a yeast infection. And I took, you know, different uh, products, you know, mostly like olive leaf extract and some grapeseed extract um, to, to, that are antifungal, you know, to kill the bacteria and also some candy clear uh, and I think that while I killed I might have you know killed the bacteria because it did work uh, but unfortunately I think I didn't replenish the intestinal flora uh, fast enough with with good bacteria and let alone you know even if I'd done that I mean the fact that I had like five colonics after that and then just after that the liver flushes uh, I think all of that you know added up to my intestinal flora being you know, very depleted and therefore more susceptible to, you know, any kind of imbalance and, you know, disease or whatever. So I think that's what's going on. So uh, I'm taking now, what is it, wild oregano oil to kill the bad bugs. And then, you know, of course, to counterbalance really large amounts of probiotics. And, you, you know, you need really high quality probiotics. I'm taking the Natron brand, which uh, was recommended by Jeannie. Uh, something really cool that I didn't know about probiotics is that when you mix more than one strand, more than one type of probiotics, when you know, sometimes there's brands that say, you know, there's like 10, 15 different, you know, strands, and that's supposed to be like a good thing, right? But the thing is, when they're actually mixed together uh, for any length of time, the, because they're alive, the, the stronger strains start eating the, uh, the the weaker strain. So in actuality, uh, you might have only you know I don't know how it works one or two strains that remain in your uh, when you actually ingest them. So for that reason, it's best to have only one probiotic strain at a time, or to you know make sure you have some uh, a way to ensure that they're that the probiotics are not touching. And that's what Natrin has done. Um, amazingly, they've come up with this technique where they have three different stra uh, strains of uh, bacteria in the same capsule, but divided, uh, you know, by oil. So it's a, you know, it's just a special, you know, it's a really special capsule. 
So this is what I'll be taking for now. I'm just taking powders. Uh, the idea behind taking powders over capsules is that then it allows to recolonize uh, everything from the you know from the mouth all the way down you know to the rectum. So the idea is to you know get maximum uh, good bacteria everywhere. So so yeah. So lots of probiotics and I guess that's you know that's about it. So that's the threefold thing. You know the diet the uh, the uh, anti-pathogen, you know, through uh, wild oregano oil, I guess uh, olive leaf uh, extract would work as well, and then the probiotics. And all I can say is so far so good. Here's uh, basically what, what it looks like. This is what I've been drinking. So, <laughs> so for somebody who's used to, you know, eating different things all the time and, you know, not even liking to eat the same meal two days in a row, so this is totally the challenge, you know, to be drinking this stuff. Several times a day. Uh, thank goodness for medicinal flower extract. I'm putting five or six drops of different extracts in there, so at least it makes it, you know, a little different. So yeah, so you know, this is. Uh, anyways, it's my what I have to do for now. Um, and amazingly, it's not too difficult. You know, Don is eating normally by now, uh, and yeah, it's funny. Actually, I'm not even um, having any cravings or I look at him eating and I don't, uh, you know, it doesn't appeal to me at all. So I guess, you know, when, when this is totally where you're at in terms of body and mind, like for me, I know there is no doubt in my mind that I, my body couldn't take any solid foods right now. So it's not even a temptation. So, so I guess that pretty much wraps up the, the uh, health update. Um, Hopefully it's going to continue to go well like this. Um, anyways, I'll let you know uh, what happens in a week or so. Have a good one.